What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I will be telling you guys about the complete care guide for ball pythons like Einstein here. So there's a list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 main items. Well, main things that you need to like have and be aware of. So, first is heat lamps. So, if you're in a cage, <laughs> if you're in a cage and you're cold-blooded, you would want to have heat, right? So, I so what well, I have so so ball pythons they need heat from um they need heat from 80 to 90s no don't well like their hot spot to be like 80 to 90 and then the, so there's one side of the cage with hot with the lamps shining down onto it and another side of the cage with no lamps so it's cooler so that's where they can go cool off because they're cold blooded they need heat so it needs to be like 80 to 90 with the hot and like 70 to 80 with the cool. That's what you need for the temps. And basically what I recommend is getting, since they are, ball pythons are nocturnal. So they like to like go out at night a bit more. So like I recommend getting a lamp that has like, um, one lamp that has heat and a light shining so they know it's daytime and a lamp with no light but there's also heat coming the next thing is how old they get and the length before you buy one of them is like you need to know about them more so the length gets about five feet really big about five feet for females and for males about three to four feet and they go up they their lifespan is about 30 years long, so you'll be having one of these guys for a long time. So, the next thing is, is food. It depends, the food really depends on how big your snake is. So, can you see, if you look at the thickest part of your snake, which will be right here, you have to see, like, how thick it is, like that. And then, you see how thick that is, depending on... So if it's like, say, two inches thick at the thickest part, your food should be at least two inches, I mean, about two inches thick. So it can properly eat it. And if your snake is about the size of mine, a little tiny baby one, um, you will need to get like fuzzy, like so there's different kinds of mice. Jumbos, which are the biggest adults, juveniles, fuzzies, and ping peas. Pinkies are the tiniest ones, they have no fur and they're all pink. And fuzzies are the ones that have a little bit of fur. Juveniles are like kid rats and then adults are adult rats and then jumbos are the big rats. And you should get frozen food, not live food because frozen is just better. But that's more like you can decide which one you think is best for your snake. But I think frozen is better because it's fresher, has more has it also has more uh, nutrients and it also helps it has no diseases the next thing you need is for the, is your tank you need it for your tank like he right now has a 20 gallon tank so like if you have an adult snake and it's like five foot you would need like a 75 gallon tank and then when it's get so and you can start out if he's like my his this size like about this long um you can you should get a 20 to 30 gallon tank or 20 to 25 so that they don't so it's not too big because if it's too big the snake feels scared because like they don't really know where to go and stuff and but if it's too small they won't have room to if they don't have room to stretch out across the whole tank that's not good it needs to be at least that big the next item slash thing on the list is small spaces small spaces and hides ball pythons spe specifically like small spaces to hide in like here look this is me right back something like this like a little rock that they can hide in it's a good size it's pretty cool this is the medium size it's big enough for him to fit in 
So that's one of the things that you would need. I would recommend getting like a rock den like that or like a log that they could hide in. That will be a lot better. And also for hiding places, this isn't really hiding places, but I also recommend getting a big climbing thing. Cause if they want to go up and bask on the light, they like to climb up something and go to the light, like to get heat. And if they don't have heat, they die. Sorry, um, that's quick. <laughs> so, um, also, the next thing you would want to do is heat lamps. So, I already talked about the heat, but I haven't talked about the lamps. So, right now, what I have, what I recommend is getting a Zoo Med lamp. Zoo Med lamp. Because, and I have a 75 watt. Yes, I have a 75 watt lamp. People say heat pads, but those are more for lizards and turtles than for snakes. Like him. He likes he likes heat lamps more. We already tried heat pads. He doesn't really like them. And they sometimes catch on fire. So, I do not re re recommend those. So, I recommend getting Zoom Ed. You can either get the dual ones, which comes with two lamps in one, or just two singular lamps. I like those ones, two singular lamps more. And basically, you, you just need to have, I, I say on a timer, so at like 7 o'clock to 7, to 7 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the morning, it has the heat lamp but no light. Then from 7 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock at night, it has um the heat with light lamp. So he knows it's daytime without those windows back there. So, And then the next thing I'm going to talk about is humidity. So people always have dumb information about humidity for these guys. The, so what you need for your humidity, humidity is the lowest to 50. The lowest is 50 yeah, for humidity, so they actually feel like they're in a rainforest. But then the highest is probably at least try to get to like 70-ish. But if they're shedding their skin, get to around 75 to 80 percent humidity. And one way to maintain humidity is I have two things. I get Okay, so I get a water bottle that has a sprayer and some moss. I get this brand Spag Moss that um it's from like New Zealand moss. It actually helps if you put water in the moss to make it more damp, it will actually help the humidity like stay. So you need to like get the spray bottle and spray inside it, inside the tank, like 10 sprays like three times every day so it stays a good humidity. And also what I do, is on top of the lid, I put a wet paper towel, or not paper towel, you can do paper towel if you want, but I recommend getting like a cloth. It stays longer wet and stuff, it's way better. So then it traps the water and air vapor and stuff inside, so it's better for the snake. You don't, or you can just buy humidifier and set timers on it, but too expensive, like 50 bucks for this tiny one. So the next thing is water. So your snake cannot, like no x no no tap water or fridge water it needs to have bottled water like that's why i have like 20 bottles of bottled water in here because your snake like needs bottled water okay i thought there was like poop on that okay um because if it's dissolved bottled water like ozark or something um, it's actually safe for the snake to drink it, but tap water has stuff in it that is not safe safe for the snake. The next thing is bugs. I've had this problem before. It sucks. So there's like, since it's humid, some bugs, like some flies, would like to come stay inside the cage. And then they're a pain to get out. Because they like lay eggs in the water and stuff. It sucks. Yeah, I recommend just like getting the water dish that the eggs are in, pouring it out into the sink, cleaning it, cleaning it, 
with soap and water, then thoroughly washing it again with only water, so it like is no soap, so he can't drink soap, because that's bad. So yeah, that's what you have to do. And then I haven't, so I have a big list right here of stuff, but I thought of two more things. Two. Oh yeah, I thought of more stuff. I forgot another one. Uh, oh yeah, three more things. Substrate. Substrate is, okay, substrate is like the stuff at the bottom. It's like the mulch, whatever, bark, wood chips, whatever. I recommend getting Zoomed um, Forest Floor for a ball python. It looks good and it is good at retaining humidity. You will need to change the substrate every six months for the snake because then all the pee gets in it and stuff and it's gross. So, um, substrate's one of them. And then also, I recommend getting snake clips. It's like, so the snake can't break out because I've had that happen. Um, so it's like when it, you clip it onto the side of the cage, just like pop. And then um, I, made a, I made a video of how to get them off. So that's that. The next thing I'm going to talk about is if you look over here the lids the lids is one of them you need to get one that's not you don't want to put your own lid on it you want to put one that fits the tank and it has like this mesh so the air act you can get in and out if you have a 20 gallon by 20 gallon lid dog snakes so the next notification the next thing you're going to want to do, well, the next thing is poop. So if you feed them, um, they poop like one to two days after. That's what the people at the uh, reptarium said. But for him, me, he poops like three to four days, maybe five, after I feed him. And so I don't really know. It differs for your snake they're special um the next thing is what was it oh 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 um it is uh oh um oh uh, um um i just had it it was how much they should be eating oh yeah so your snake will python at the small like i feed him once a week every sunday that's so you basically Feed him once a week if he's about a juvenile or a baby or a kid. All I know is that if they're adult, you don't need to feed them as much, but you still need to feed them a lot. And if they're littler, I think you need to feed them like, I don't think twice a week, but like once, six days or something. Something like that, guys. But that's basically my full care guide for these guys. Buy my merch. Supreme. No, I just, I just made it, um, with a Sharpie. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Toaster out. Uh, here's a snack. Yeah, here's just a look at him, actually. He has this nice pattern. Okay. Bye, guys.